Hello and welcome to a video all about factors. And in this video, we're going to be looking at identifying all of the factors of different numbers. So first of all, what is a factor? Well, a factor is just a number that divides into another number exactly, and it doesn't leave any remainder. So first of all, let's list all of the factors of 24. So what numbers divide into 24 without leaving a remainder? Now, factors always come in pairs. So what two numbers can multiply together to get 24? Well, if we start right at the bottom with the smallest number, well, 1 times 24 is 24. So we can say that 1 and 24 are both factors of 24. So is 2 a factor of 24? Well, yes, it is, because 2 times 12 is 24. So 2 and 12 are both factors of 24. Now, what about 3? Is 3 a factor of 24? Well, if we do our 3 times tables, we get to 3 times 8. That does give us 24. So 3 and 8 are also factors of 24. Let's move on to 4. So is 4 a factor of 24? Well, 4 times 6 is 24, so 4 and 6 are also factors of 24. And now let's move on to 5. Is 5 a factor of 24? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 times 4 is 20. So no, 5 doesn't go into 24 exactly. If we did 5 times 4, that would give us 20, and we would have a remainder of 4. So 5 is not a factor of 24. Now if we move on to 6, well, we've already done 6, we've already figured out that 6 is a factor of 24, so we don't need to go any further, we can stop there. We have identified all of the factors of 24, so we can just list these out now. So overall, there are 8 factors of 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Okay, let's do one more, and I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can work out all the factors of 36. Now, whenever you're doing this, I always encourage you to start at 1, because 1 is a factor of every single whole number, okay? 1 will go into every number, so 1 times 36 is 36. So we've got our first two factors, 1 and 36. So now let's move on to 2. Is 2 a factor of 36? Well, any even number is always divisible by 2, so yes, it is. So how many times does 2 go into 36? Well, if we do our bus stop method of division, so 2's into 36, 2 goes into 3 one time with one remainder, and 2 goes into 16 eight times. So 2 times 18 is 36. Now let's move on to 3. Is 3 a factor of 36? Well, let's just check that. So 3's into 36, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice, exactly. So 3 times 12 is 36. And now let's move on to 4. So is 4 a factor of 36? Well, it is. I'm not going to do this bus stop method division, but I know that 9 times 4 is 36. So 4 and 9 are both factors. Now let's check out 5. Is 5 a factor of 36? Well, no, it is not, because 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. So we're going to have a remainder of 1. So 5 is not a factor of 36. Now let's move on to 6. Does 6 go into 36? Well, yes, it does. 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 is a factor of 36. Now, are there any more factors of 36? Well, no, there are not. 6 times 6 is the last one because we're back round to where we started. So if we just list all of these out. So to answer the question, list all the factors of 36. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. And notice how the factors always come in pairs. So the easiest way to identify all of, all of the factors is by starting at 1, working your way down until you come back on yourself, and that will guarantee that you get all of the factors. Okay, so pause the video, and I've got four more for you to have a go at, so list all of the factors of the following numbers. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video and had a go, so let's go through this. So 20, well if we start off at 1, 1 times 20 is 20. And now 2, or 2 times 10, also gives us 20. And now 3, well, 3 is not a factor of 20. 4 is a factor, and 4 times 5 is 20. And now is a 5 a factor? Well, we've already figured out that 5 is a factor, because 4 times 5 is 20. So we can stop. We've come back to where we started. So we've found all of the factors of 20, so we just need to list these out now. So our factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay, let's move on to question two. So question two is 50. So we start off at one again. One times 50 is 50. And now two, well, 50 is even. So two is definitely a factor of 50. And two times 25 is 50. So three is not a factor of 50. 
four is also not a factor of 50, but five is, and five times 10 is 50. Six is not a factor of 50, seven is also not a factor, eight is not, nine is not, and 10 is, but we're already back at 10, because five times 10 is 50, so we are done. We have found all of the factors of 50, so let's write those down. So we have one, two, five, 10, 25, and 50. Let's move on to question three now, and three is 45. So one times 45 is 45. Two is not a factor because it's odd. Three is a factor. Three goes into 45 15 times. Three times 15 is 45. And just to check that, you can always do your bus stop method. So threes into 45. Threes into four go once with one remainder, and then threes into 15 go five times. So four, four is not a factor. Five will go in because I can know I know that any number that ends in a five is divisible by five. Uh, and five times nine is 45. Six is not, seven is not, eight is not, and nine is, but we're back uh, with five times nine, so we are finished. So our factors are one, three, five, nine, 15, and 45. You might be wondering, are there six factors in every single number? But no, that is just purely coincidence so far. Let's look at 84. So 1 times 84 is 84. 2 is also a factor because it is even. And to work out the factor pair, I can just half 84, which is 42. So 2 times 42 is 84. Now 3 is also a factor of 84. And that might not be immediately obvious. But if we do our bus stop method, so 3 is into 84. Well, 3 goes into 8 two times, three times two is six, so there is two left over, and threes into 24 go exactly eight times. So three times 28 is 84. Now four also goes into 84. If we do the same thing, if we do our bus stop, so fours into 84, four goes into eight two times, exactly, four goes into four one time, so four times 21 is 84. 5 does not go into 84, 6 does, and again let's try the bus stop to see what factor pair we get. So 6 is into 8 go once with 2 remainder, 6 into 24 goes exactly 4 times, so 6 times 14 is 84. Now I think I'm running out of room here, so let's see if 7 is a factor. Well if you know, if you know your 7 times tables, you will know that it is a factor, 7 times 12 is 84, but let's just verify that. So sevens into 84, sevens into eight go once with one remainder and seven goes exactly into 14 exactly two times. So seven times 12 is 84 and I think I'm gonna to have to put this over here. Now eight does not go into 84, nor does nine, nor does 10, nor does 11. And now we're back at 12, so we have finished. We've got quite a lot of factors of 84. So let's write all of them down. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 14, 21, 28, 42, and 84. So that was quite a long process, and it took quite a while, but if we just work systematically, meaning if we start at 1 and just work our way down until we come back on ourselves, we should get all of the factors. Now this really helps if you know your times tables, uh, but if you don't, you can always do your bus stop method um, of division to get your factor pairs. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at multiples. Now factors and multiples are very closely related. They are opposites of one another. So here we could say that four is a factor of 84, whereas 84 is a multiple of four. 84 is in the four times tables. So that's what we're gonna look at in the next video. So hopefully I'll see you there and thanks for watching. Take care.